versus Thai kickboxing. Our Thai kickboxer from Bangkok, number three Thai contender, lightweight, 136 pounds, Champuang Champuthong. From the USA, fighting Taekwondo style. From Salt Lake City, third degree black belt, weighing in at 136 pounds. Mr. Mike Stidham. He's from Salt Lake City. He is USA Taekwondo, third degree black belt. 136 pounds, and he'll be taking on Thai kickboxer Champujong Champutong of Bangkok. He's the number three Thai contender. He also weighs in at 136 pounds, and this ought to be a dandy again to see which is better, Taekwondo or Thai kickboxing. We've seen Champujong fight before here in town, and he was very impressive winning about six months ago. Powerful side thrusting kick by the Taekwondo player a while ago. Mike Stidham doing a good job, being the aggressor, but boy, he got counted in a hurry. Again, in tie rules, that's not a knockdown at all. It's a quick slip. If he gets right back up, referee's discretion, no knockdown at all. They just keep on fighting. Right there, push off. Let's go, push off. Mike Stidham being a little bit more cautious after being countered moments ago. Coming in strong. He looks like he's strong, but I'm not sure about his technique against a fighter of this caliber. We'll see. We'll see. This is just the opening round of a five-round bout, three-minute rounds. A lot of pride on the line, too, for these Thai fighters as two minutes is left in this round because it's going back to so many people in their homeland. All their friends are seeing it. Want to be extremely impressive. Almost a spinning back kick by the American. Decides against it. Probably a good choice. Inside, good uppercuts. Good to the body. Nice knee. The Taekwondo fighter. Good uppercuts again. Good combination from Mike Stidham. Champa Jong missed with that swinging hook punch. Champa Jong, I think, has uh, had his attention received now, and he looks like he's going to be serious. Oh, big left kick! Big and Mike left. Stidham is down. I think he'll recover. But, oh, no, maybe not. He is really woozy. Legs are a little wide. Lynn is giving him the count, Ling Stringfellow, and saying, are you okay? Mike Stidham is okay. He might survive this round. Not a whole lot of time left, but he better get his right up again or he's going to get the same punishment. Chompa John just missing with the left that would have ended it. This is just the first round, and the man from Salt Lake City has been welcomed to Tulsa Turf. Good block. Good knee work and a good job by the man from Salt Lake City, Mike Stidham, just to stop that attack. He's learning a lot already, though, and he's becoming very defensive. I'm sure he didn't even see the shot that rocked him, and that's probably the worst thing, is there's only 30 seconds left in this first round. Very tough to counter what you didn't see. Just filling each other out as this round comes to an end. Oh, again, he gets right back up. That no knockdown. But a good job by the American as they end round number one. Great exchange. And shocked in round number one, it was one kick. He came in. And he got countered with a, a great left kick to the head, right there, right there, to the jaw. And he was lucky to get up his opponent down, and it wasn't considered a knockdown because his opponent under tie rules got immediately back up, so considered no knockdown. But still, good job by Mike to get back in the match because he almost forgot his mouthpiece, good which kick. he may need here in round two. Good side thrusting kick to the head by the TKD player. Punching, punching the body. Good job, but he's got to keep, keep his legs up. up. Good job of keeping his left knee up and using uppercuts with his fist. Great job by Stidham as Chomputong is getting socked. Goes back to the same kick that did damage in round one. Not effective this time. 
Stidham got a lot of points there, though. Stidham really did rack him up. Another one to the head, another one. Stidham really coming of, of age in this fight, you could tell. About halfway through round one, he was scared. Now he's He's going to have to watch good. that knee to his mid, middle section. Legal. It's legal. Mike's complaining that it's not, but, but yes, it is, because once again, we're... We're under tie rules where that is that is legal. Two minutes left in round number two here. And now Mike will use that technique. Both guys rolling and rolling with the punches and kicks here. Good block by Mike. That sounded impressive. Didn't do anything. Hit the gloves. Spinning back kick didn't work, but very impressive. Yes. I think Champa Chang is beginning to show some respect for it. Stidham doing a nice job, too, of using the technique of using some knee kicks, although he took one pretty bad right there. Stidham coming in strong. Nothing happening, though, as both fighters have gained a lot of respect for each other. One minute left in round number two. Almost paid for coming in again. Have to be very careful. Chompatong's a good counter puncher or kicker. Extremely patient man. Just misses with the upper punch, but the American head. rocks him with the right at two rights. And they're back inside for some knee kicks from the Thai boxer. Chompatong with good, oh, big right from Stidham. Straight right overhand in the final 30 seconds of round number two. Chompatong's got the lower. Oh, big right. That'll do it. That'll be it. There's no way this one will continue. Lynn Stringfellow tells the tie fighter to go to his corner, and it's going to be all over with Mike Stidham of Salt Lake City knocked That's out it. in round number three, and tie kickboxer Chompatong Chompatong is the winner. Round number three, though, this is what happened. Big right hand. Straight to the chin. Chompa Jong, Chompu Tong, the top.